What's up guys, how's it going? This is of course your host Aprilia at it again and today we're going to be looking into another AI video service. This one is called Hicksfield which is focused around motion control. So you can basically prompt images on the platform or upload one and then use the motion controls to create a video on your camera style that you're basically looking for or certain effects like we have 3D rotation for example which is very ideal for like like fashion stuff so maybe you're featuring out some type of a jacket or sunglasses or maybe it's like a bag here by the way it kind of creates out two uh, same sides on the back so it would have two ways to basically open it which is obviously not how bags work but whatever so these are very very good for people who are maybe doing like a small Twitter advertisement or Facebook advertisement which is like three to five seconds long then there's obviously other things and this by the way this website keeps crashing on me too much uh, we have like a couple of effects too. I love this one. I mean, I don't really have many use cases for it unless I'm doing something very artistic over here. But the Medusa effect is really, really cool. And the quality of this image is simply very, very good. And then there's some other features that are available here, including ads, which were recently added in. So this is a new feature that has been picked into the platform. We got one here for um, advertisement for a cereal box, I guess, that's, that's what it is. That's pretty impressive, very, very high quality. Um, we have a uh, glam shot, this is for um, soda. And I mean, look at the movement here. It's very close to realism. It's been on that uncanny valley. Um, you can see a bit of the reflection when the, the Coke bottle moves through the lips, like that kind of looks weird. But I mean, this is really good. And there's a bit of a text distortion there as well. But in terms of like the product placements over here, these are very, very impressive. And you don't really need to do or pay a company to do a design for you as, as this one is very high quality. Like these are already ready for basically to be sold or used as advertisements. This could be on TV. Like there's no faulty things here. Like, okay, maybe it's a bit too short for TV and maybe it could use a bit more movement. But in terms of like the quality over here, it is just very, very good. And there's many things you can do here. They're not limited into some type of a singular um, movement here. We got like Coca-Cola turning into metal. That's kind of cool. And we have different camera angles here, which all are available to do, uh, to do throughout this platform. Um, here I have something that I created. So when you sign up, you get 25 credits. And also it's creating the prompts for you. So I just added rotating phone and here it's basically the prompt that it basically used AI to create the prompt uh, improvement from mine. And you can choose to do three to five seconds and it's gonna be seven or five seconds and the steps are gonna be increasing the price. Now the free model is only gonna be getting you 25 credits. So that is three videos that you're able to do with it. That's not much but it is something and there is a light and turbo mode i don't know um, how costly the light is as it's not telling me here that would be kind of important to kind of you know explain but let's look at the um final result over here i mean it is pretty high quality yeah and there's a bit of a like weird you know reflection going out through the lenses over here but like in terms of a product it's pretty nice i mean the wood starts to move it becomes a separate piece, which does look realistic and then it comes line like it was already a part of something, which is fine, but I mean, I do like that quality. And there is also text to image. Maybe we'll want to create a, create image of fictional Pepsi cola drink that is colored like black and orange. And apparently it's using GPT. There's also Higgsfield's own. Let's kind of try it out. What it's basically able to generate for us. 16.9. Now, while we're waiting for that, I do want to go in throughout the actual pricing as we always do that on these videos. So we are talking about 150 credits for $9 a month. And as I said, the prompts are at seven. So we're talking about like, well, if you're going to be doing three second videos, you can get 15 of them more than 15 but if you're going to be going for the full pricing for five seconds with 20 steps let's assume that you obviously might want to have higher quality video which is going to be requiring more steps 
Not to say that the 20 step videos are low quality, but they're not the best. So that's not much. This is not a lot to work around with. There's the pro model, which is twice the price, but it gives you four times the credits. And there's, there's also commercial and watermark usage, the concurrent jobs. I don't know why they offer these things, by the way, like you're not able to prompt that much anyways. So I really like expecting to prompt everything on simultaneously, I don't know. And the life model, by the way, is available on basic as well. I would really like to know um, what is exactly the capability of the light mode. How much credits does it cost? Like, I don't mind waiting. I mean, I want to have more video platforms where I can wait, let's say, 10 minutes for a video, but it doesn't cost me as much. Like, that's a good trade-off for me and for a lot of users. But I don't really care how fast they are if I'm only able to, like, prompt 10 videos a month on a $10 to $15 plan. That's not ideal. I've talked about this many times before. And then lastly, there is Ultimate, which is giving out, well, three times more the amount of the Pro. And these are in discount right now. But these are annual plans on monthly plans. They get higher, but the basic stays the same, which is interesting. That is not something I've seen before. So if you have money to burn, well, go ahead. Um, let's see. So here we have the drink. Okay, definitely didn't do that. I kind of wanted to have not a can. So maybe a glass bottle, glass bottle. Let's try that one. And there are some other features. So we did go through this a 3D rotation. There's a, a bullet time. We have turning metal melting. These are things that have been done by Pika. I think they kind of started out these special effects things. And these are kind of gimmicky. They might get old very, very fast. But if you're doing like a music video or something very specific, it might be okay as there's many effects they're not limited to like two or three so that incline one is, that's kind of crazy and melting the, these have been also very impressive looking and kind of weird <laughs> kind of surreal i like the surreal element of that and we're not that far away from videos being truly truly surreal and we're going to be seeing films and things like that which are going to be looking very very surreal in different ways than before and because AI has a different ways of dealing with physics and all that, which allows us to have different style of things. And okay, this one I don't like that much. Data Mosh, uh, Morph Skin, Building Explosion. This seems to be another popular one. There, this is something that a lot of people probably would like to use. I can see the appeal of that. Um, there seems to be, well, quite many. We're talking about 40, 50 different models over here push to glass, mouth in, low shutter. There are a lot of these zoom things. And a lot of people like to use these on very highly cinematic videos. So a lot of these can be applied into, you maybe you're doing a music video or maybe doing something else. So there are things that you can do here where you could definitely take advantage of, of these effects. But here we have our drink and Basically, let's see if we can actually turn it. So there's not a straight button here to basically turn them into a video. Um, can I remove this? And yeah, so we can use the 3D rotation and you can also do an arc right here. And let's do another one. But that basically is um, my rundown of this platform. I don't really have much else to add here. The prompting seems to take around two to three minutes per video, uh, per image, sorry. And prompting images is obviously better on the platform and it's less expensive. That's kind of obviously expected. But when you get like that few credits for the amount of money you're basically um, putting into this platform, it's not that much. You definitely want to do the images on other platforms. We have covered million different sites where you can do them basically for free right now without watermarks so basically paying for image prompting right now in my opinion is very very silly but hey tell me what you think about hicks field have you tried it out in case you haven't you can find the links down below in the description and i will be seeing you guys on the next video when it will be dropping out cheers